I love passive income, and I'm sure you do too. And maybe you do. I don't even know if you know what passive income is. To give you the simple definition, it's basically you making money while you're sleeping. When you're doing absolutely nothing, over here you're still making money. And everybody would sign up for that if it was that easy. It's not just you write your name on a paper and you just sign up for free money. That's not how that works. You have to establish something in the beginning in order to get paid out a certain amount. And the more time and effort you put towards it, the more that you end up getting paid out. I look at it similar to this. When you have a company and you have a patent on a product, then you license that patent out to other company companies. Now you can basically say, I want a certain percentage based on what you are selling. That's a uh, a passive income strategy or passive income that's coming to you. So there's so many different ways to do this in, in today's world, whether it's with businesses or with investing. But let's talk about it with crypto. Crypto is uh, something that I spend a lot of time researching and going through standard day-to-day -day movement. Um, and while we have all these downtimes in the market, we would love to have something that is a passive income strategy. Now, I did go on ChatGPT to get this full list that's here. And um, I only know of a couple of ways to do that or one main way to do it. And I wanted to see what other ones were out, that were out there that really brought some uh, interesting ones to my attention. However, I know that you are risking your own uh, time and money doing this. So I want to let you guys know, obviously, this is not financial advice. I'm going to tell you that these are all have risk to them. And if you're putting your money at risk, that money could potentially be gone if something goes wrong or you put your money in the wrong place. Just because you see a high percentage doesn't mean that you're going to gain that high percentage. And if you do, it may be for a short period of time and you might not gain anything after that or your money will get locked up or something like that. So just be careful what you are doing and um, you know, make sure you take baby steps and you, you tread lightly, right? So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. If you want to check out my credit card content, I have a, um, a link up in the cards to that channel if you guys want to check it out. But again, let's go through here the top five ways to earn something extra, to earn passive income on cryptocurrency. That's what we all want. Now, the number one way that I know how to earn passive income with cryptocurrency is involving staking, right? When you have a proof of stake consensus where you have um, Algorand, you have Cardano, you have Polkadot, those are ones that you know you know you can gain something from and it has the process of staking. So staking involves locking up a certain amount uh, of a particular cryptocurrency in a wallet uh, to support the operations of a blockchain. Um, uh, in return, you earn additional coins. So say with me, I'm holding CRO and CRO <clears throat> is going to pay me a certain amount as I'm staking it on their DeFi platform. Or you have a certain amount of Cardano and you're staking it and you're gaining a certain amount uh, with them. So that's the best uh, way that I know that you can earn a passive income. Um, and how I plan to earn a passive income with various products or projects as well. Now, some risks that you play with staking, uh, you have market volatility, you have changes in staking rewards that does typically happen. It started out at 12% for CRO and went down to about 8%. And the risk associated with the, the specific blockchain network, whatever that network is, if it does have a large amount of risk, you could be um, you know, subject to a large amount of risk as well. The next thing would be yield farming. Now, how yield farming works uh, involves lending your crypto assets to earn fees and rewards. Um, it's uh, commonly done on decentralized finance or DeFi platforms. Some popular platforms are Uniswap, Compound, and I want to say Aave. Um, Compound is something that's actually been running recently. It's up about like 20% on the day, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, but yeah, these are, are there. Those are the popular platforms. You have risks. What are the risks? Smart contract vulnerabilities, um, impermanent losses, and um, platform risk. Sorry, I have something stuck in my teeth. And platform risk. Um, that's number two. So yield farming, you might want to look into that a little bit more. 
and see what opportunities that you do have out there. Now, number three would be liquidity mining. Now, I've done sort of something like this where you go over to a place to where you can add liquidity, add to a liquidity pool, and then be able to um, you know, gain something out of that. So similar to yield farming, but in addition to earning fees, you also earn governance tokens on a DeFi platform. So popular platforms would be uh, SushiSwap or Balancer. Risks, exposure to uh, impermanent loss, uh, smart contract risk and regulatory uncertainties. <clears throat> so again, look into something like this because it's something similar to what you would see with yield farming and you can earn um, you know, fees. You can also earn uh, the governance tokens and whatever that is, depending on how valuable those are, it could be a massive amount. Now, I also know of a way um, where you, know, you technically mine crypto, but that's not really one of the the biggest ways to do it as of now people are trying to find the the uh, easiest way to do it without having to spend so much money on like computing um, products and and softwares and stuff like that <clears throat> number four would be master nodes now this is something I haven't heard of running a master node involves uh, holding a substantial amount of a coin and helping to maintain the network in return you earn additional coins Popu uh, popular with Dash and Zcoin. Um, risk high upfront investment, which means a lot of money that you have to put forth in order to do that because you have to have a high amount of the coins. <clears throat> Technical know-how um, required and market risk. So for this, you have to have a large lump sum or a lot of money to put towards this investment in order to be a master node or have master nodes. Um, and that high upfront investment may not be for everybody because you may be looking for a way to gain passive income with a smaller amount, starting with a smaller amount and working your way up, which honestly would be staking. As you're compounding whatever you're gaining, that's the way to do that. But we'll talk about that at the end of this. Then you have number five, which is crypto dividends. Now, I kind of look at this kind of the same way as um, you know staking, but it has... a uh, a difference, right? So holding uh, dividend paying cryptocurrencies in a supported wallet or exchange can earn you additional tokens. Examples would be um, Neo generates gas and Binance coin BNB holders might uh, earn dividends from transaction fees. Some risks uh, dependent on the performance and stability of the, the dividend paying cryptocurrency. So I wanted to see what are technically dividend paying cryptocurrencies and um, you know see what the really difference is. So I wanted to go into, you're going to go into my computer real quick and you're going to see six uh, crypto coins that pay dividends. Um, these are the six crypto coins. You have KuCoin, you have Neo, you have uh, Buy, BuyBox um ascend right so these are ones that are paying these cryptocurrencies or paying these dividends to people and v chain and uh Kom komodo komodo something like that and so uh kucoin uh kucoin is a popular cryptocurrency exchange based in hong kong uh, it was launched in 2017 and is known for its user-friendly interface and supported and support a wide range of cryptocurrencies uh KuCoin token brings some unique features to its uh, to its users, including the ability to earn dividends called um, K, uh, KCS bonus <clears throat> as long as you hold at least six KCS tokens, um, you can earn uh, dividends from KuCoin. The KuCoin dividends are generated from 50% of its trading fees, uh, ensuring regular profits for its holders. The higher number of um, KCS tokens you own, the, the higher your dividend returns will be. Dividend earns um, are paid out in uh, KCS tokens on a daily basis. So you can earn dividends from these platforms that you are holding on, which is a phenomenal thing that you can have. I wish that CRO, um, you know, did something you know similar to that, which I don't know if they do. I'm pretty sure they don't. But you do earn something from you know holding on the DeFi wallet as well as just holding in general. I mean, staking in general, not only holding. But I would like it for just to be a hold, not really like you have to stake it for a longer period of time or hold it for, um, you know, six or seven months or, or whatever it is. So these are the ways, right? These are the ways that you can gain something extra with cryptocurrency. You know, going through the list, we have staking, 
We have yield farming, we have liquidity mining, we have master nodes and crypto dividends. So um, my top ways and the way that I gain um, passive income right now is unknowingly gaining, um, you know, crypto dividends as well as gaining, um, you know, something from the staking side and multiple projects. So as you can find a way <clears throat> to find something popular, something that's going to be long standing and be able to pay you something over time. That's the way that we should be uh, going about this. So these are the best ways, the five best ways to uh, gain passive income from crypto. Make sure you guys explore them. And also, uh, if you're taking on any risk, make sure you understand the risks that you are taking on. But guys, let me know what you think about this. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also check out some of the links down below um, and check out the credit card link in the cards, which is up there. Feel free to check that link and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.